Hello everyone, today I want to show to you how my Linux is working on my Dell XPS 13 uh, 9315 as well as how my fancy setup it is for where I'm lying down now anyway now I'm running Fedora Linux 39 I will explain you later why I choose to use this uh, distro here and the first distro that I tested with this computer some months ago was Ubuntu I was using the uh, 22.04.2 at the beginning because I bought this computer on July and the main problem that I was having with this uh, version of Ubuntu LTS was that the graphic card wasn't working uh, so I didn't have uh, the hardware encoding while the 23.10 was having the graphic card this was fixed on the latest LTS because basically they ported the kernel of this on the LTS this is how Ubuntu works so for the graphic card you don't have any problem the driver are working and the computer is working well for the camera uh, I don't know now because uh, as I said I started to use this computer I first fixed the problem of the driver of the graphic card because uh, when uh, I got this computer I was having the problem that the webcam the patch that you can see here uh, they have a page on the wiki of Ubuntu where you can find the driver for the um, the webcam so the problem was that the webcam work only with the LTS version while the graphic card at the beginning was working with the latest version then they uh, upgraded the kernel on of the latest version on this Ubuntu LTS and everything started to work and I think that I made a mistake because the kernel of this is the one of 23.04 but anyway you got the point the webcam was working the graphic card was working then I start to have some issues and that's why I switched to Debian the issue was that I didn't like uh, have all the packages of Ubuntu installed with snap because they wait more and uh, when I'm developing with uh, Python and using Selenium I was having problem with um, Firefox this is supposed to be fixed now but anyway I don't like the to use snap so after a while the camera broke and also the personalization of Ubuntu uh, of GNOME because on Ubuntu you use GNOME with uh, the personalization of the graphical interface st st I started to have some issues so I switched to Debian because Debian 12 was surprisingly good because it was having uh, uh, up-to-date software still it has up-to-date software and uh, which is not a thing that I was expecting on on, on Debian and also uh, I started to use uh, in Debian Flatpak there is also I think that I follow this guide to use Flatpak on Debian and everything was working smooth and the thing about Flatpak is that I can choose on Debian whether to install stuff from Fat Flatpak or from APT the same is um, same thing work here on Fedora uh, let's see if I have an example uh, of a software that is on both Flatpak Firefox Firefox for example you can install from the RPM or with Flatpak and the same is, is the same thing in Debian so this is why I switched to Debian because the webcam wasn't a problem anymore it wasn't working on <laughs> Ubuntu and it wasn't working on Debian so I switched to Debian with slightly up-to-date software Vanilla Gnome which is the same that I have here with some personalization that uh, I installed here on, on Fedora this uh, software here on Debian is already installed in in Fedora I had to install by myself I don't know how it's called I think is extension manager because this is the Italian translation but anyway so I installed some changes to GNOME in order to fit better my needs 
and then what happened that uh, by the way this is the previous style that I used like I run Linux on this for uh, Ubuntu on this Dell for four years in a row without any issue the only things that wasn't working on this one was the fingerprint reader that on this new Dell is working I don't remember if in Debian you need to install a package to have it working or if it was on the old Ubuntu but it's not a problem uh, anyway the thing is that uh, let's see if I found the github uh, the thing that makes me switch from Debian to Fedora is that in this repo, this is the repo of the driver of the webcam, I start to notice on the issue there is a page, uh, let's see if I found it, uh, for porting this um, driver to the kernel. Uh, let's see. There is an issue, I didn't find now the issue, but anyway, the thing is that I notice, start to notice in that on Arch as well as on Fedora, there were people that has made uh, uh, a package that was able to get the, this um, this webcam, webcam working on both Fedora and on Arch. I didn't choose Arch because uh, it's rolling release and I don't want a rolling release uh, uh, distro while uh, Fedora is not rolling release and I just discovered how the project works on this ago but anyway uh, so after a while with Debian I decided to switch to Fedora because uh, of the webcam as I said and as you can see is working let's see if I'm frozen or no still working good and uh, for having working the webcam here what you need to do is to this is for the webcam yes ah yes okay you need to do this to run this command and then it's supposed to work uh, I had a problem with the enable repo one of these repo wasn't working I just searched on internet the RPM package installed the repo from the RPM package and then it started to work and uh, if you want to use Fedora on your Dell, you also need to know that um, the codec uh, are not there. So if you want to watch, uh, I don't know, Instagram stories, for example, you might run into problem. They, they will not gonna work. In, so you need to follow this procedure here. And another thing is that the Intel graphic card driver aren't there so it will do everything by software so you need to install the intel media driver on fedora while on ubuntu and debian they are already there so after you solve this problem i think that fedora is a good one to go it has already flat pack installed and uh, yes that's it that's everything you need to know about this fedora 39 on my computer everything is working except for the uh, I is called uh, the infrared camera this is not working I'm not sure I read something on github or somewhere and uh, I guess that this, this is still not supported by this driver so there is any way to get it run in any distro so, uh, so to wrap everything Ubuntu I don't know if now they fix the issue I guess so because this page uh, they loaded this page on this date here which is 26th of October and uh, I was already using Debian so I guess that if they made this page about the webcam like the webcam started to work again but anyway uh, in Ubuntu you are supposed to have the webcam working everything working except from the infrared that they will not work in any place on Debian everything is working except for the camera um, but you don't have the issue that I had with Ubuntu that you don't need to care about if you're not a developer that's the, the main selling point if you're not a developer anything for you can go uh, well, can be good and in Fedora everything is working the camera is working everything is working like on Ubuntu without the issue that I had in Ubuntu that I don't like and another suggestion that I want to give you if you use uh, this computer or any other computer 
is to install auto CPU frac is uh, you can find on github this package uh, this you can do this even without auto CPU frac but is easy with auto CPU frac and put the CPU in performance mode the governor in performance mode and use the turbo boost and then run uh, a geekbench benchmark because after a while I discovered that the driver that I was using this is, these are the pist Intel P state these are the default one I switched to the another one because on my previous Dell the other one was working better but after a while I discovered because my machine learning model were slow that that other driver wasn't good as as this one so um, first thing you, you don't you don't need to check if the driver are good because the these one are the one that you get by default but the thing is run geekbench and then on the page of geekbench uh let's see i supposed to have on my not here uh let's see geek okay so this is one of the results on geekbench basically you got your results this is the results that they got with I don't know I guess that this ah okay Fedora anyway this is the score and if you click here you have the score that is on Geekbench for your CPU and my score is higher than this one and the thing is that uh, if you notice that your score is lower than the score that you can find here this is because you had some problem maybe Turbo Boost is not enabled or you are running with power save mode or anything else so the thing is uh, after you set up your Linux machine with any distro because this is the same in any distro try to run a Geekbench because as I said I was running my machine learning model and I start to notice that this computer was slower than the other computer that uh, I think that there are four years of difference the other Dell that I showed to you that one was the 2018 model this is the 2021 or 2022 I don't know but anyway the thing is that this was slower I discovered the, the, the problem with Geekbench and then I fixed the problem so uh, after you set up everything try to run Geekbench in order to see if you have any issue uh, that being said I hope that I help you to um, choose your distro for your Dell XPS and to have helped you and that's all.